terms of their actions after a year, this traditional third plenum that takes, take, uh, take place one year after the, uh, the assumption of the new authorities, has been uh, very important because the reform that they are planning in the future is not a reform just in one sector. It's not only economic development. It no, it, it's not only economic growth. It tackles different areas of the society. I think those core elements of the, uh, of the uh, Chinese uh, dream are addressed in the uh, resolutions of the third plan. I think China's dream, in fact, is that, is uh, looking uh, at yourself, uh, looking what you are not just very recently, but what is uh, uh, centuries and millennia of civilization mean, and realizing that that gives you a kind of special responsibility in terms of what you should achieve. And uh, that's how I see it. It's a, it's a kind of uh, personal um, responsibility of uh, every single uh, Chinese to do the best they can uh, to be, uh, uh, in a way, uh, uh, to deserve being part of such uh, uh, a respectful and rich history. Well, I think uh, China is fortunate and lucky to have a very forward-looking leadership which is uh, fully aware uh, of the global trends and exactly knows what the priorities of Chinese government should be for next decade and in the context of realization of the Chinese dream. I think this uh, third plenum of the 18th uh, CPC was a watershed moment in the rise of new China and articulated the vision of Chinese leadership and President Xi Jinping for the Chinese dream of rejuvenation. Well, I think uh, it works. Uh, again, uh, statistics, you know, uh, uh, don't lie. You know, the system that you put in place, uh, suitable to the right condition and situation of China. The problem is now is, the problem is uh, how you would be able to continue the journey by reforming yourself. And that is, I think, the strategic importance of the decisions being taken by the third planet. You know, basically try uh, the decisions being taken uh, are basically trying to safeguard the path of development of China in order again to reach the vision being chartered by uh, President Xi Jinping that he termed as Chinese dream. I think China, China has uh, all the conditions, all the conditions to be successful. And, and in this way, I think that with a very clear direction of where China would like to go to achieve the Chinese dream. Uh, and I think this is clear. I mean, if you talk with the companies, if you talk with uh, foreign companies, I think they have clear, very clear, that which is the roadmap for success in China. I think this is, this is crucial. I think uh, achieving Chinese dream for Chinese people is very important, first of all, for Chinese people to uh, restore the uh, uh, great role of China in the world culture, in the world history, on the international arena. But also uh, achieving of Chinese dream means benefits for Chinese partners, including its neighbors, including its foreign partners. That's why um, Chinese dream 
will mean more opportunities and more cooperation for other countries. We welcome Chinese Dream.